Hello again. Continuing with my theme of recycling, I would like to start my dining room decor by showing you this lovely Easter wreath, which I have converted out of an old fan. So this was an old Usha table fan, which I found uh, lying in the store. So I upcycled it with twigs from my garden. Fabric carrots made at home and some little eggs scattered here and there. And then another recycled DIY is are my egg stands. This you it's very easy to make. Just take a plastic cup, an old plastic cup lying at home and then pour in any concrete mixture or white cement or whatever you have lying around the house. And then when it's still wet, you have to uh, put an egg. You have to put the egg that you want to place on this when it's still wet and then just let it dry. You make sure that you wrap your egg in plastic uh, cover so that it doesn't get stuck to the mixture there in the plastic cup. And then I have also done this little bunny. This uh, is something I picked up from the roadside on the way from Guwahati to Shillong, but then I just modified it a little bit to make it look pretty. I've used decal transfer sheets here again, and then the homemade uh, fabric carrots this year. I, like I said, I'm having a lot of bunnies, eggs, and carrots, but then they do signify rebirth, a new life, fertility. And the spring season, nothing better than that. And then I have also made more, kept more fabric carrots here. And then this lovely marble uh, tea light candle holder, though I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm not demonstrating that. And I put a frame behind that which says, thankful grateful and blessed aren't we all to see another spring and then i have these tiny rabbits here i was used a wooden stump again so that's how this dining table scape is centered on and same thing again i just buy some kinder joy give my neighborhood kids to eat and then make eggs using that as a mold and then finally I cover the um, kinder, kinder joy packet with jute twine and these are made, molded out of real eggs while making your omelette you can break it really uh, softly from the top and then you fill it with any cementing material and then you can keep the shell on and paint it here I have removed the shell before painting it and these lights I'm, are also there again. And for the durable material, I find aluminum as a very good material. So these are aluminum bunnies uh, coated with chalk paint. Aluminum is durable. It is rust free. And then this is supposed to be a candle stand, but uh, I'm using it as an egg cup. And the same Kinder Joy eggs made with jute twine and laces. And then here again, more natural flower arrangement. These are made from spiral canes, a scrape of soft wood, and all sorts of natural material, which are biodegradable. And look at that, it looks lovely. Who said natural isn't beautiful? And then for the hand towel, I'm using this, which says more human, more kind, and using more of the natural flowers here by the wash basin. And I haven't done much this year, but I'd like to end this by showing you 
a wreath that I'm making for the church. That's it's made out of an old carton box and some uh, fabric laying at home and the homemade fabric carrots here again. And finally, just wanted to show you the, these flower arrangements, a bouquet of natural dried flowers here with jute ribbons, which I'm making for some visiting dignitaries. And another one made of the same natural dried flowers, jute ribbons, and embroidered basket made out of reed. This is made in Manipur. So with these two natural beauties, I'd like to wish you all a happy Easter.